Howdy, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, pretty much, I'm just going to be going over mostly the 2024 Clone Trooper and what makes it different from this one. And unfortunately, the worst, one of the worst of all time, this one. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this thing's pretty cool. I do like that it's that we're finally getting more uh, troopers in the main line, like the main wave. Um, this guy's been pretty easy to get. Um, the same cannot really be said for this guy, which is the Phase 2 version of the brand new uh, 2024, um, was it the 3.0 body? Um, which is my personal favorite just because I really like the Phase 2 helmet. Uh, the aftershave, I think I like it, but I like the idea. I don't like how it was executed, but anyways, I'll just go ahead and compare them real quick. I mean, they're pretty similar. Obviously, they're clones. It's the same mold, just really without the... Uh, Without the, uh, um, <clears throat> the aftershave. And you really, theoretically, you could t just take this helmet off, pop it on this one if you wanted, like, um, like a helmetless display and you had, like, two clones out, you know, in one of them, you know, you want one with a aftershave, one without, you could take, you know... I don't know. You can mix and match the helmets. I know the bodies are the same, but you might have a body that's probably a little bit more poseable. Um, and this guy's pretty stiff. Oh, so you can do that if you want. Um, this guy's overall articulation is really good. I don't usually cover articulation on something I've already done before. But that, like, what I mean by this guy's is pretty good is um, his, his, his joints aren't stiff. Um, his, his joints are like, you know, normally they kind of get stuck. Um, his are really like smooth, butter smooth. Um, and I really like this. I, this has been a fantastic figure. I did have obviously some, some small issues with this guy. I think the helmet, um, why does it, why does it keep losing focus? Um, the helmet of uh, this guy. I don't know if they're the same molds, um, but this one is removable. Um, I, I don't know if they're the same mold. They might be, just they do look different because this one is removable. This one's been glued down, but uh, you don't get that, you know, the, the black line all the way down, which is, is something that I do think is, uh, it, it really, helps the visuals of the figure and it really does help it look a little bit more obviously theatrical now the thing that has been bugging me so bad with these um these figures really is the helmet and and you'd be surprised to find out this guy has the best um helmet only because Nah, he doesn't have the best helmet. I'm kidding. This thing's horrendous. They painted this. They painted the the black piece. I don't understand why they they can't they they can't get it. I don't know. <laughs> but but they paint this little red piece on the back. But they can't paint the forward facing black dot, which I don't know what it's for. But yeah, look how horrendous the the um the paint on him is. It did not line up at all. It did not line up at all. Um. So yeah, the 2024 Clone Trooper Phase 2 Clone, um, which, what's funny is, this is the Phase 2 Clone. This is also the Phase 2 Clone from the Attack of the Clones box. So we have two, which, the box, the mural on the back of the box is actually different, which is, which is weird because, like, we have two of the same characters on the mural, and I don't know if it's called Phase 1 Clone Trooper. I think it might just be called Clone Trooper um, for this guy. But this one says Phase 2 Clone Trooper. But, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't have the box for this guy anymore. So, 
Um, I don't know if this guy's on the Attack of the Clones box or if he's on the uh, the Clone Wars box. I don't remember. I do not remember. So uh, help me out. Um, what does the mural for, for these guys have two clones on it? Which would be bizarre for two standard clones. Um, if you have this figure, tell me what you'll think about it. I, I really find it, you know, some people are like, oh, his, his neck sits a little low. You can kind of pull his helmet up just a little bit. So he's got a little bit more neck. You don't see his chin. So that's really neat. I, I absolutely love this figure. Now, like I said, I do like the... Um, <clears throat> I do like this guy a little bit more just because I like the face two armor. And I did have four of these guys in total. And I just happened to go by a few game stops, not really looking for this guy. But I went by a couple. I got this, I got one of these off of Amazon and two of these from the game stop. No, I'm not uh, scalping. I just, I, y'all know me, I'm a bit of a cloner. Uh, I troop build at least three to four of each type if I can. Now, if it's like one of those exclusives, that are hard to get, obviously not. I'm not going to be getting that. But um, I do want the Lieutenant or the, the 501st uh, one of this guy that comes with the 332nd guy. I do really want that. I think it's. I think it looks good. And uh, <clears throat> I am keeping this because this would make my 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, <clears throat> 10 uh, Phase 2 or phase one clones, plain white phase one clones. Um, I did have my uh, custom captain. Um, I know it's not perfect, but I think I'm gonna turn this guy into a sergeant. Um, that way I can have the sergeant. Um, I know my paint's not perfect, but for me, I enjoy it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna turn this guy into a sergeant. Um, and I'm going to keep at least one of these guys unpainted because I only had two and I painted one. And, you know, I've got plenty of these. Um, so I think I'm going to turn this guy into a sergeant. So, yeah, that's uh, that's really all I got. Uh, just a quick little video talking about what I really like about this figure. Um, tell me if you, you know what you do like about it, if there's something that you would change. Let me know. I, I try to I try to reply to every tech or uh, text, uh, every comment. I try to reply to every one of them. Um, that's the good thing about being a smaller YouTuber, um, that I have a smaller audience and I can engage with you guys a whole lot better. Um, so thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, have a fantastic day and stay safe. Stay safe out there, and good hunting.